There are times where we just get blindsided in our world, like just completely sidewinded. Like the transmission in a project car just grenades as you're going down the road. That happened to me in like 2016. Scared the living crap out of me and it was a terrible time. We watched The Red Wedding for the first time. Game of Thrones, still a banger, except the last couple of episodes, you can probably just stop it after season six and you figure out the rest whenever you want. And every once in a while, we get shocked when we realize that when something used to be one price, it is now very much a different price, okay? And it's the equivalent of getting stabbed in the back because you don't know why, how, or where that came from, but you're not happy about it. Either because we budgeted for it or because it was so ingrained in our brain that when we finally have enough money to purchase it and it changes, you either spring up with joy because the price came down or you immediately want to throw your laptop across the room. I'm Alex, Alex at FI on Instagram, and today we're going to be talking about one of those potential opportunities slash situations that's five letters starts with a T, ends with Iers, and it's gonna be happening in 2021. We're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, the word that probably should actually have a Y instead of an I. We're gonna be talking about tires and why they're about to change forever and why most of it kind of sort of is not really good news. And if you haven't yet, be sure to hit us up over at fitmentindustries.com if you're looking to see what wheels, tires, or suspension fit your car because we got a big old gallery. In addition to that, we actually have everything connected. So if you find a set of wheels that you like, you can actually just pick them up for your car and we guarantee that they fit. We'll even do a little stretch setup for you. We'll do a little meaty setup for you. We don't really care. We don't judge you. We're not Coles. We're not gonna, we're not gonna complain about that. Seriously, it was started because scouring the forums is kind of sort of bull****. People hide specs like Coca-Cola hides their recipe and nobody needs none of that. So we've got also some financing options available so you can finish your build now and pay it off later with your tax return. Unless you just don't want to finish your project car, which to be honest, last year was the year to finish your project car. And if you didn't have a chance to finish it last year, I just don't think you're going to finish it. Anyway, let's talk about tires. For those that don't know, tires are made all around the world. Hankook makes tires in America, actually. Michelin produces tires in France, in Serbia, Poland, Spain, Germany, and a few other spots. Yokohama makes theirs in Tokyo, Japan, and companies like Federal make theirs in China or Taiwan. For the most part, all has practically been fair in love and war when it comes to different manufacturers making different tires at different price points, mostly because the tires are made so differently that you can place these tires in different tiers or different types of people buy different tier tires because of the price value or what they're doing with them. Kind of like a nice capitalistic marketplace, okay? Lots of businesses, lots of prices, lots of people, nobody really stepping on any toes. An Atsu purchase probably won't be used the same way or in the same price point as a Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2. But over the past 10 years or so, the competition space has changed. And in fact, it's gotten a lot more difficult. A rising surge in tire production has been caused due to the rising impact of automotive sales, automobile sales specifically, a growing lift in vehicles overall being on the road. Road. An internal competition continuing to expand into the production of tires, right? You got more people jumping into this market. More competitors are hitting the space than pretty much ever before. And you have a lot of new tire companies, some that are just making it to make a buck and it's getting a little bit weird but most people aren't running and gunning for the tier one tires or the fancy dancy ones like michelin and toyo and things like that they're going the other way they're really actually going for the cheapest possible tire they could possibly put into the market because cheapos are for the win baby ft dubs all right and what's happening is, is that's causing a little bit of an issue honestly though that's what happened. A race to the bottom of the proverbial sales pole occurred where new companies that wanted to establish massive volume chased the cheapest possible route to make that tire so people or companies would end up buying those tires. Because at the end of the day, when it really comes down to like tire production, if you can make a dollar or two dollars or four dollars after everything's said and done and you can mass produce millions of them, the money still adds up the same versus if you sold one for 40 and it took you 10 times as long. Now, price matters and here's why because cost matters nobody's building stuff for negative profit or losses because that's just a silly move genius and nobody wants that unless you want to give me an nsx and i will give you an accord because they're practically the same motor and i'm down 
Those used to be like $27,000. I can't believe that they're 80 now. Because the price of the tire is trying to be the lowest possible, many of these companies are going to the cheapest places in the world to make the tires and ultimately competing for floor space at these factories. These are different factories around the world. But the factories in some of these countries aren't the same as those in the States or in that of Europe. When you look at some sort of regulation piece in the United States and in Europe, I would say that the United States is actually doing pretty darn good. There's always opportunity to grow and the EPA will definitely be overstepping its bounds to make sure that that occurs. But Europe is the same way. They're doing a fairly good job at keeping everything regulated. Outside of that though, it gets a little funky. Tire manufacturing is a pretty big impact to the environment if you don't do it right. Maintaining how the goods are made, handled, baked, molded, and destroyed is extremely important because tires aren't exactly like trees from Mrs. Earth. They're the, kind of the opposite. Rubber don't do no good, okay? So some companies pay quite a bit for production and waste management like Michelin to make sure that they meet the strict guidelines of what the countries impose for handling, while others across the world, they just really just don't give a shit. Like they don't, they don't care. They, they, they do care, but not enough to actually do anything about it. Like you, they want to work out, but they're not going to get a gym membership. In addition to that, these countries are opting to battle on volume and not margin in the international market space. And when you start to do this, you get some big old eyeballs on you. A lot of these big regulation companies and trade companies and trade this and all these fancy capitalistic ventures across the nations telling you, hey, you can't just fucking do that, bud. Most notably, the US Department of Commerce. Now, some of these companies that don't have the same regulations as the rest are predominantly Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, and Vietnam. Now, not all factories in these countries are bad, nor are they cutting into the market in a bad way. But generally speaking, it is common enough that most of the factories in these nations are causing issues that the US Department of Commerce is targeting those countries for jumping into the US market for what we call less than fair value. And they're able to do this because of a lot of different things. Less than stellar wages, less than stellar management, and less than stellar give a shit to the environment. Anti-dumping, by definition, is when a company exports a product at a price lower than the price it normally charges on its home market. Hence, it's said that you're dumping the product. So people do this to protect domestic industries. And in this case, a lot of what's happening is the tire manufacturing companies are coming to the United States and the, the trade commerce guys and saying, hey, People are bringing in tires way too cheap and it doesn't make sense. And this is exactly happening with the existing import and export business. And it went into effect. So this actually has been happening over the past five years or so, especially in the tire industry. And the US Department of Commerce finally laid down the law. They put the foot down, they took the pants off and it went into effect. Tires made from Korea saw a 43 to 200% increase on product coming into the United States. Taiwan saw a 20 to 116% increase on price. 106 to 217 for Thailand and 5 to 22 percent for Vietnam. And that's a big old kick in the face to tire companies that are being making tires in those countries when it is trying to be imported in the United States. And it matters for people like you and people like me because, bud, some of our favorite tires come from there, okay? Not exactly the best, but our, some of our favorite. The infamous, the sultry, the kind of hits all categories for an entry level tire, like the Federal 595, will no longer be its entry level cost amount. It, it probably actually just won't even be a thing anymore, or it'll be like triple the cost. Atsu, more like Donsu. Ha! Got him. And my hometown city company of Uniroyal will start seeing uh, unit tariffs go into effect in 2021. In the simplest form, it means entry level tires will more than likely go up in price. And the tires like the Aturos and the Federals will dissipate from the market for a little bit. When I mean a little bit, I mean the rest of the year at the absolute minimum. And it's a big deal. So much so that the tire manufacturers that are getting their butts beat are literally turning ship loads of product from the port back to their home country until this tariff or anti-dump is either abolished or reduced. But in all honesty, the Department of Commerce doesn't really plan on lifting its foot anytime soon. The fancy people in suits state that by September of 2021, so six months from now, there will be a 5.5 million tire deficit because of this anti-dump, causing additional tire prices to lift and further issues with supply and demand, and this, everything's gonna just get a little bit funky. This doesn't impact all tire manufacturers, but it does impact a lot of tire manufacturers that you and me know. Consider this more 
more of a heads up than anything else because it is happening right now. And it's kind of like our duty to let you know when these things are happening. So if you want some tips, pick up tires right now if you are buying wheels with a good old refund or tax return because they're gonna go away. If you're a track goer, pick up an extra set just for safekeeping. And if you're on the fence about getting wheels and tires packaged together from the good old us at Fitment Industries, even if I was just another beardless car guy without doing wheels, tires, and suspension plugs, I would still recommend doing it now for savings because you're getting tires pre-price increase because they were already in the States. But that's gonna change for a lot of tier four tires, especially as we go into April and May. If you're watching this video in like 2022, I am super sorry. I'm, I'm sorry because federal 595s right now are like 400 bucks. And in 2022, they're gonna be like 700. It's like JDM tax, but for tires. But what do you think? Is it good or bad? Do you like this or not like this? Do you not care because you're a Michelin and Toyo boy? Or do you think that this is gonna be the end of the world? Let us know below. And of course, if you're looking for aftermarket wheels, tires, or suspension, dare I say, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying the R words. Be sure to check us out over at fitmentindustries.com. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries, and we will see you later. Peace. And if you're wondering what's gonna replace the Federal 595s and the Atsus of the game and the Aturos and things like that, you're gonna see a lot of things like brands like Vercelli and things like that, like the Strata 2s start coming into play where those tires are getting made in different countries. You will still see